<clears throat> hey, what's up, you guys? So, I am coming back with a part two because I rewatched my video and there are so many things that I forgot to squeeze in to tell you guys. Um, <clears throat> and maybe that's for the best because I really didn't want that video to, well, I don't want none of my videos to be like super long and you guys just like wasting your life for an hour watch it <laughs> you're like oh my god you gotta do all this stuff to be an alien posture i don't think i want to do this i don't want to do this this is this is too much <laughs> so um i'm coming back you guys with the part two um <clears throat> i'm gonna try my best to talk a little bit clear in this one you guys my accent is so horrible it's like mixed in with with country southern Jamaican, England, I don't know. It's like, it's all over the place. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> At the end of the day, I really don't. Oh, God. All I know is Black, White, Creek, Jerky. If it's some other stuff, somebody need to tell I, I have to do that ancestry test. I have to. Because I be feeling like sometimes that I need to put credits underneath my videos. Like, is it credits right? Look, I don't even know. Like, who am I? <laughs> like, okay, you guys. So, I am going to... Uh, enough with the rambling. So, I'm going to um give you guys some... See, as soon as I start talking, it just like come out of there like so bad. Oh, my goodness. Anyway... So this, you guys, this is part two, and I'm going to be telling you guys some more stuff about how to become an Ellis Parsher. Like, in the other video, it was, it was a really good video, but I feel it was so many other things I needed to touch, touch on, like, you know, talk about. And, um, when I was talking about the girl with the sponges, like, I wanted to finish off saying that it was the pictures of the sponge with the stuff in the background just to make the picture look pretty. And then my second, third, and fourth picture, you can post up to five pictures, um, was just the sponges. So I'm just like, how would you think you would get everything if you see that the first picture that's your main picture that's going to grab your audience, and then your second, your third, your fourth, and your fifth picture, that's like, still grab your audience with those pictures, but... Now you're gradual, you know, you're going on or whatever. So, um, yeah. So, that was story time. Accent. Now let's get started. Okay, you ready? Okay. <laughs> um, alright. So, as I was watching the other video, I was writing down some other stuff that I need to touch on. Like, these were two of my screw-ups. Um, you're going to either be wholesale or be I call it home sale. So wholesale, home sale, wholesale is my boutique is CSW boutique. And originally when I first started Poshmark, it was just gonna be about home sale, which like for an example, like if I can't fit this jacket no more, like this is my jacket. You know what I'm saying? Like I it's mine and i've been wearing it i don't i can't fit it like let's say if i couldn't fit it no more i consider that as home sale wholesale let's say that you went to a wholesale place and you bought like 13 of 15 20 of these that's wholesale well i'm sure you guys know what home, wholesale is but i'm just saying for those who don't know um so yeah, figure out what type of closet you will want. Um, I'm not sure if it's against the rules or not to have two posh marks, but um, get get two posh marks like a wholesale and a wholesale. <laughs> hey, posh love you. <laughs> so um, okay um, can't find your name. Poshmark actually updated their um uh, Poshmark actually updated their site a couple of days ago and they added some new things or whatever 
And I kind of feel like there was one thing that they should have updated that they didn't. And I feel like, you know, I'm a, I'm a businesswoman. So I'm the type of person where I'm not going to hurt your business if I talk to you about your business or whatever is going on. I'm going to actually try to help it, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write Poshmark and I'm going to ask them, like, for an example, my best friend, I'm helping her start her Poshmark, which you guys seen in the, what I said in the first one. And, um, she tried to find me so that way I can monitor her Poshmark. She put my name in, nothing came up. But when she put in CSW Boutique, I came up. Cause like my wholesale listings is under my boutique name. My home sale is just under, um, um, under the name of whatever is on its head, you know? So that's one thing I am going to talk to Poshmark about because it's really hard for you to like find like a friend or find, you know, something very specific like that. That their search bar is only for finding clothes like you go to the search bar and you put in Leah's Claiborne boom it's going to show you Leah's Claiborne but if you're looking for Leah's Cleopatra you're not going to your friend you're not going to find her like you know and I think that that's something that they should do have a search bar for clothing and for finding people um when you're on the computer I noticed that I was a squirrel a squirrel climbing up the tree I couldn't even say squirrel y'all I'm telling you accent is horrible i need credits under this fucking video <laughs> but um anyway um yeah that is something i'm gonna talk to them about or whatever and um i think now on the computer they have this thing where you can click on people but it still doesn't work it still you still can't find you know so all right um sales bank transfer now and your sales bank and transfer. So, you guys, while I'm talking about this, if you have a Poshmark right now and you're new to Poshmark, with, go with me and look through your Poshmark while I'm going through it. Okay, so go to your Poshmark app right now. Click on that. Wait till it opens up. <clears throat> Because my iPhone is so full. <laughs> like it, it like it doesn't take a long time, but it takes a little minute for my stuff to come up. I'm sorry. I had to write down something else, you guys. I'm sorry. So, um, um, we're talking about bank transfer. So go to over in your right hand corner. There's your name. Click on that at the bottom of the screen. And there is a money sign at the top right corner. Click on that, like a green little money symbol. And it say Credits. Credits is for when, like, what I was telling you about when you earn money. If you have someone to sign up, that'll show there. And pending, that means when you sell stuff. And, um, let's say for an example, <clears throat> like, for an, I'm gonna just use mine. For an example, I just sold three things, like, in the past week and a half. And I had maybe, like, 23 maybe 24 dollars which was not much because two of the listings was cheap and one was you know like what 15 what 4 13 14 15 whatever so anyway um <clears throat> pending is because you're you're shipping the item like you guys let me write something and then i'm gonna say this That show how hard I write. The, my camera <laughs> Oh god. I'm just like horrible all the way around, huh? So, um, pending. Let's say for okay, I just sold three listings and 
I got my shipping label, la la la, and I shipped it off. Until they get the item, I won't be able to redeem the money. And as you can see underneath, it say redeem. So when that's how you will know that your your posher client or whatever you want to call it has received a item because they'll send you an email saying that um such and such just received their package boom it'll be in your redeem section right the the third one um and then all the other ones will be pending until you know you get it now let's talk about money being stolen you would it, no matter how much the item is if if you ever send something you guys it's Freaking lighting is making me mad. Um, let's say that you sent something that was like a hundred and forty dollars, and I know that's not much, but I'm just saying you sent like somebody bought something was like a hundred and forty dollars, and like you get the email and say that they accepted that thing, but their money is not trying to come through. Like they never give you a right in on it. They never comment thank you or i like my item like no nothing is not showing your redeem right poshmark right then let them know what's going on like right then poshmark will actually pay you and then they'll handle the person so that's one thing i like about poshmark because my second to last big victorian vintage whatever corset that i sold she never tried to re like she never tried to let the money go from off of her credit card off of her account. Oh, you know you lying, girl. <laughs> look now, <laughs> I tried to, I, I tried to go from zero to a hundred, but it made me look a bit upset. But um, I was like, oh my god, Poshmark, like you know, I was typing like, what's going on? And she never sent me the money. La la la. This and a third. So. They went on here and they sent me the money and they handled her on their own. And that's how I know that because I actually dealt with it. And it was, I hated that that happened, but it was kind of good that I dealt with that because so that way I can make this video and tell you guys. <laughs> so, um, my earned credit right up underneath Redeem. It say earn five dollars when your friends complete their first purchase, and that's what that's like right there when you can see like your earning credits and things like that, and your pending credits. Pending is the same thing as when somebody buys something like like your friend bought something. You're gonna earn some credits, but it's pending right now until they get the item or how whatever's going on with their sales activity. Okay, invite friends and earn free cash. Okay, so what I was telling you guys about about your code that you have. When you click on that, hold on, let me go back. When you click on, so it's a credits pending, um, redeemable. My earn credits. Oh Jesus, <laughs> my earn credits and invite friends earn free cash when you click on that invite friends earn free cash that last one in the imbalance um section of poshmark you see your code right there it's like a um little bar and the um letters are red and it has like a white background that's your code so write that code down like remember that code or whatever and as you can see it says send to friends um sms Email share to your network Facebook Twitter Tumblr and you know that's how you can get your your social media friends or whatever to join on in with you so let's go back some um okay we're gonna go through Poshmark as well but let's let me get through with my questions okay you guys so Poshmark takes a cut. Like for an example, like if you make a listing and let me go to my listings right fast. You make a listing and you list it at like $20. Like 
it's going to show that you will only earn 16. So that's how much money that Poshmark will be taking. You know what I'm saying? So like if you, like for an example, like if you had a jacket and it was like $100, like let me do this so that way you guys can really understand where I'm coming from. Like the jacket is a hundred, you'll only be earning eighty. It it all just depends on how much your item is. Like there's not there's not like a set prices. They'll take four. They'll take ten. They'll take twenty. It just all depends on how much you know. All right. Um. Uh oh. I exited out, you guys. Okay. Okay. Um Oh yeah, and with the updates you guys, that's only just from your tablet and your cell phone, not from your computer. I said computer in the other one. Scratch that out. It's not computer, it's just tablet and cell phone. Um, notifications. Now, with the no make sure that your notifications is on on your phone and on your tablet. On your computer, it's not going to show, but it will show in your email. Okay, making an offer. You guys, let's talk about the postures. Then we're going to talk about you making offers with the postures. Excuse me. Some poshers, oh my God, they, if your list is a hundred dollars, they will try to offer you like, like, so, excuse me, you guys, I got the hiccups. Some people are so crazy. If your, if your listing is a hundred dollars, you see this list in a hundred dollars, why would you try to offer me 20? If you don't get somewhere and have several <laughs> seats. That is crazy. That's called lowball offers. So if you make a zero zero listen and you're having a sale, you're telling people um you can make me an offer, stuff like that, make sure you write in your description no lowball offers. Like I mean some people that's okay with them, but I just I don't I don't like that. Like I just feel it's I feel that it's a it's being disrespectful a little bit because like if you're if your listing is a hundred, why would you try to offer me twenty? If your listing is a hundred, why would you try to offer me sixty? Like go go a little bit under. And now I'm speaking this for you. Like if you go to a listing and you see it's a hundred dollars, y'all don't be hateful. Put like put like eighty and then that'll maybe I think that'll give them what like I think maybe 60 or something like that. I'm really not sure. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, if if you have a listing up there for 10 and they try to offer you five, that's going to leave me with $2. Like, what you doing? Like, you that is so hateful. Like, don't do that. Like, you made me feel, you made me feel like my listing not worth shit. Like, that's how, that's how it would make, they make them feel and it will make you feel on the other end you know so like don't, try not to do lowball offers um okay so when you make your your zero zero listings um if you're just showing off an item just say oh my god i just got this i love it so much like, a lot of in a third like that's something different because you're taking a picture of the actual item. But if you're making a zero zero listing for something like um make me an offer or I'm having a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh Christmas, Halloween sale, Valentine's Day sale, whatever the case may be, um <clears throat> what I use is Pizzap and P I Z A P dot com. Pizzap. And um I'm that's how I make my zero zero listings and I just put a pretty background up there, write some words and I um I save it to my computer and I send it to my phone for my email. You can do it that way. I mean you can use other stuff if you would like to, but 
that's what I use because that's how that's what I use for like my collages and I also use um Android's layout too but you can't write words with some of those um layout apps so I'm just you know just throwing something out there but um Okay, um, like doing a posh party and joining a posh party is really good because that helps you sell. For an example, they say, um, we're having a men's jean party. If they send it in your notifications to your phone, email, tablet, whatever, um, if you have men's stuff in your thing, like men's jeans, like, what you do is you go to your listings where you have the men jeans and you update that listing and you click on at the top um join that party and it'll update on your site and it'll go to your listener also be on that party's closet as well not they're not going to get your money but it'll just be on there advertising it to other people that join that party or that's looking at that party and the same thing with if you made one. So this the rules go like that. Um keep track of all of your items. Like for an example, um you can't see it because it's behind me, but it's behind my camera. But I have two big wardrobes that I I ordered off of um it was Walmart.com and it had like the little zippers in the front with the little pockets on the side. But one of them I use for like my stuff. And then the other one I use for like all of my Poshmark stuff. And I have so much stuff um, in my boutique. And for my, what I call it, like my home sale, wholesale, home sale, whatever. Um, so for a home sale is in my closet. And for my just my boutique wholesale stuff is in one of my wardrobes and you can use your garage your attic um you can use your your closet your wardrobe whatever and i also have um i have if when i did my little room tour you guys seen that i had a um china cabinet um when i showed you guys my china cabinet in that bottom part where i said that this where my new clothes are it's like two drawers, like not two drawers, but um, two like spaces in there, like so in in there with some of my new clothes is like my really bigger items. Like I sell little like um body sets, so I didn't want them to be in the closet or the rope in or the wardrobe, so I put those in there as well. But yeah, so I have like three little sections where I can go to to find like my stuff or whatever. Um, not much left, you guys. This video gonna be long as the other one, you guys. You're gonna be a real A-list Pasha. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, okay, I talked about that. Um, no lowball offers. Okay, so no bottomless or topless mannequins. They never say it. Well, I, I've never heard anybody say anything about that but just to be like respectful to just everybody else i don't feel let's take for an example you're taking picture you're taking a picture of just pants your mannequin got titties like this speaking for the girls i know there's guys on poshmark too but just speaking for the girls like your yeah, mannequin got boobs so just find any type of shirt that kind of flows well with your bottoms and the same thing with your top Find something that flows well with your top to just fully dress the whole mannequin. Or what you can do, my best friend actually made this up and I thought that that was an amazing idea. She had like, she had outfits and that was so amazing because I'm like, shut up. If you're selling a top and a bottom and they look good together, make it as an outfit. Still make a listing separate for the shirt and the pants but also make a listing for the shirt and the pants to put together bundle i did not write that down bundle you can bundle and people can bundle you like so let's just speak about bundles in general bundle means we're like you 
you okay let's say that i have a shirt some jeans some pants and two pieces of jewelry so that's five items you want all of them but you don't like you want all of them but when you when you put them all in your um how do i say this like because there's no such thing as a cart on punch mark so um you want all five of them and you're like dang what i'm gonna have to pay this for this this for this this for this and this for this that's why i'm so happy that punch mark made this thing called bundle because you can put all of that stuff together in a bundle deal. Just click on bundle. Um, put it in a bundle deal. Let me make sure that it's. La, 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 la. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to just make sure it's up. That way I'm telling you the right thing. Yeah. So you have like. Let's say you're looking at. And I'm going to cut time. <laughs> Let's say that you're looking at a um <clears throat> a listing. It say like, comment, share, and add bundle. Click on add bundle and add all of that stuff to a bundle. Some people, oh my god, you guys, oh my god, you guys, that bulb that was blinking, oh, oh, it went out, oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, you guys. I did not know. Uh, anyway, so like some people, they have stuff where like you get like 5% off, 10% off, 20% off that bundle. So um, if they have like 20% off, let's say your stuff came up to like 150 like that's going to be that percent off and then you just you click on purchase you buy that and that money comes off like you know like you won't have to pay for a price for it so that's the same as you bundling and you doing a bundle from somebody else's posh closet um you guys i was making this ugly face right before i was i seen the um bug because poshmark just updated again they say buy with apple pay and get free shipping so now you can buy with apple pay and get free shipping <laughs> so that's something new to me you guys that's awesome hmm. see look right here at the top of her list and it say seller discount five percent off three plus bundle like i was just saying if you got five items that you like so much on that closet you put it all in a bundle and you get five percent off like it's three plus and this is what she mean by three plus like if you get two items from her you're trying to get two items from her closet you're not going to get a bundle you have to do three or more i think mine is three as well i'm not really 100 percent sure but um yeah so let's see what else we got you guys i know y'all y'all just like look <clears throat> you know a lot about poshmark when you gonna be done though <laughs> um letters you guys along with pretty packaging pretty wrapping um you know stuff like that um letters work really well too i do letters like <clears throat> let me tell you what letters are when somebody order from you and you send them they stuff like put a thank you letter in there put um if you come back i'll give you a certain percent off or tell your friends and family or use my code and this that and the third like it that really helps you to promote and it, it helps them come back and it just it just makes your closet look good you know um also like i still do this to this day and i've always done this without poshmark like when i was going really heavy on etsy and on store envy um I always give my clients a free gift. Like, um, I have the little they're like they look like lipstick pens, but they, it's not lipstick, it's a it's a pen. You pop off the top part and it's actually a pen. Um what else? Um Oh my goodness, I had so much that's that's what I'm using right now. 
before that i can't i can't even remember what it was you guys like i've literally had my boutique since december woo woo oh since december 2013 that's how long i've been going for my boutique so been a minute ago i can't remember for like the past year and a half though i've been doing those pins that's crazy i can't remember what it was before that but anyway you guys like but letters are really good um if you're selling makeup like <clears throat> people say that they can sanitize lipstick or lip gloss i don't know how they're doing it i might have to google it or youtube it but um make sure that um that you wipe it off some kind of way like even if you do a swatch because some people are putting that on their mouth and on their face you know what i'm saying so like try to clean it the best way you can without damaging it like you know um buying vintage victorian louis vuitton gucci prada um true religion whatever like if you're buying stuff like that, make sure that stuff is real. Because 9 out of 10, that price is going to be marked high. You don't want to buy a Louis for like 200 from a posher. And when you get it, it ain't got like no plastic on it, no key on it, no um real name in the inside pocket thing. You're going to be mad. <laughs> and there's like, and after you send that money, and it, like, if you don't notice it, like, they, they're supposed to take pictures of all of that stuff. That's why I said, like, you won't even have to worry about that if you make sure you read that list and really, really well. So, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like, with these two videos, and I, I really, you guys, I think I covered everything. But if you have any questions in between the my part one and this one right here you're welcome to ask me or whatever um I, I answer to everybody that writes to me and i answer to everybody that emails me as well um i have two emails that you can actually contact me at and i always keep track of everybody that write me um creative mind corp 2005 at gmail.com and shanice k ellis at icloud.com and please use the subject line angels with a z not with a s angels with a z not a s so that way i can make sure i find you so that's why i have you to use a, a subject line but um yeah this is it you guys thank you so much follow me on poshmark um royal princess sk and sk attire and please give this video a thumbs up if you have not watched part one yet part one covers your basics and part two really gets down to like the, the nitty-gritty of it all but um this is it you guys